Don't enjoy today and endure tomorrow. There are some of you mothers and fathers who have destroyed the destiny of your children because you are comparing them with their friends. You see a mother pushing a 16, 17, 18 year old boy. Say, look at your friend. Many young boys who have gone into internet fraud. What do you think they want? Family. You should be able to sit down and explain how money came. You should ask your husband, how did you get this? Stop, stop being excited over what you call breakthrough that cannot be explained. Don't be excited over your friend that's bought a car. Before you enter the car, ask him, how did you buy this car? Let the police catch both of you in the car. You have no idea what is going on around the world now. Many of you don't care. Young girls, do you care? Where did you sign me? Where did you sign me? Where did you sign me? I ask him, not being give me money. Now I chop him. You are not ashamed. You have no value. No value. I beg, oh, beg. Apostle can't spoil our market. Oh, wait himself. What is the honor? Being a Yahoo's boy girlfriend. What is the honor? No, what is the honor? Say, they say, who, who is your guy? Yahoo. What is the honor? Shame no, they, as I talk, I'm so shame no, they catch you. Now, if you are into, listen, I don't hate Yahoo boys. I hate Yahoo. So don't get me, I know, I know a lot of stories in town. That church apostle hates Yahoo, but I don't. But is that act? Because if only you know why I'm against it, you will know I don't hate you. That thing you are doing is spiritual. Anybody you scam, the person's blood is on your head. Yahoo money is blood money. Anybody you scam, the blood is on your head. And blood moves from generation to generation. So when I'm talking, you think I'm, oh, he doesn't, he doesn't like, no, it's, I'm, I, I, I care about you. And even you get that they bought iPhone for, blood also. You mother, they bought car for. You father, they bought house for. When you do Yahoo, or you do fraud, or you cheat people, you do anything, what happens is that, naturally, that money you are spending now is what you were meant to have in future. You, what you did is that you only cut short your future, brought it now. What you'd have gotten 15 years' time, you brought it to 15 years before. What that means is that, that your future is now vacant. As you are going to that future, either you will not get to the future, or you get to the future, the spirit of what you have done will take over you. Do you understand the explanation? This is something that is, that bench you bought now is meant to be your future. You brought your future forward. 